So, you want to create a star in Blender? Well, just look in the mirror. Yeah, I said it. Hey guys, welcome back to Text by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back once again in Blender 2.9 Eevee. And we're taking a look at how to create a star. Uh, something super simple, something super easy. I'm going to get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit Shift A, and we're going to add in a circle. Now, this circle is not going to have 15 vertices. It's going to have, I believe, what is it, five? Yeah, five vertices, I believe. We're gonna have, it's going to have five vertices, like just like this. So, um, we're going to go ahead, and after we've done that, we're going to hit Tab to go into Edit Mode. And now we need faces, and this is an issue. So, obviously, there's no faces, and there's only one face, but we have multiple different vertices like that aren't connected to anything. So, we're going to go ahead and fix this by doing something very simple. We're going to double tap A to make sure everything is selected. And then we're going to go ahead and right click this and it's subdivide. Now you can see this has added more faces here, which I mean, obviously, you know, that, that, you know, it didn't exactly help us. <laughs> but what we're going to do to fix that again is we're actually going to go ahead and select all of these ones that it just added. This didn't help us create another face, but uh, we will get there. We will get there. So we're going to select all those by holding down shift, select all the ones that we just added. So all the ones on in the middle of the uh, edge here and then hit S to scale them down. So now you can see we're creating a star super easy. I'm going to hit S and scale it down to about right there. That looks pretty good to me. I really enjoy the way that looks. Um, I like it a little bit, you know, rounded like that instead of it being like, you know, super hard edge like that. So it looks a little bit, looks look pretty cool. It looks like a Christmas tree star, you know. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and after we've done this, I'm going to hit, I'm going to double tap A and then we will select everything and then right click this. Uh, actually go to face select mode first. We have to go to face select mode up here in the top uh, left. Face select and then right click this and then go on down to poke faces and now you can see we have now created faces super easy I made a tutorial on this a little bit ago But uh, this is a very very cool way to fix this problem with vertices not being connected to anything and here we go We have it already now. We're gonna go off of face uh, select mode and we'll go back to vertices select mode I'm gonna grab this vertice in the middle and then hit uh, G to move it straight up and uh, hit G and then hit Z to move it straight up and then we're gonna do something like that so it has that nice classic star look to it which just looks uh, really really cool um, and now what we can do to fix the bottom half just being empty is either you can just fill this you can know you, you can grab all the vertices on the bottom so hold down shift grab all of these if you want it to be flat on the back and then just hit F to create a face of course this face has no um, uh, lines or edges so we go back to the face select mode we right click and we hit poke faces and now it has you know vertices uh, or if you don't want it to be flat on the bottom you can literally just um, duplicate it <laughs> you know uh, by uh, selecting the entire mesh like this hit shift D right click to cancel the movement and then hit RX 180 on your numpad like that and then now you can see uh, it is actually actually well we let's do this differently actually because we're gonna have to do this uh, on the Y axis so we'll do it on the Y axis instead of hitting RX hit RY so RY uh, 90 what just happened here oh I just rotated I j how how did this get rotated so we okay there we go uh, so if we hit uh, shift D duplicate that and then hit R Y we can rotate it on the Y axis like this so then just hit 90 uh, actually 180 sorry R Y 180 and now it's flipped completely upside down as you can see and it matches perfectly and then we'll just go ahead and select both of these and then hit over here on the top we can go up to object and then hit join so now these are one object but we have double vertices so I'm gonna go ahead and where we, wherever we have two vertices which is you know obviously all of these pieces that you know connect this piece right here they're kind of doubled and actually connected we can hit double tap a to select everything and then we can go on down to uh, da, 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 dissolve. No, not dissolve. I'm sorry. Uh, we can go to uh, merge vertices, and then by distance, I believe it is. And then if we hit G to move them, there we go. Now you can see that all of the vertices are connected, and there are no duplicate vertices just roaming around. So now we have a perfect little star. If you want it to be thinner, you're gonna S Z to scale on the Z axis, a little bit thinner of a star there. If you want it to be bigger, hit S Z and scale it up. So it's a thick boy right there. As you can see which looks really good and we can go ahead and of course add that classic uh, star color to it real quick we'll just hit new add in a star material just call it star create that base color golden like that I'll go to uh, I'll go to material mode real quick and then we can turn up the specular turn down the roughness and uh, yeah it looks really good just a really quick material obviously um, but I really enjoy this it looks quite good we can add a little bit of metallic in there oh yeah that looks really cool but, uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for today's star modeling tutorial. 
Uh, really, really cool stuff. I really quite enjoy this. It looks really good. It's super easy to make as well. Uh, you know, just in time for a Christmas. Merry Christmas to all of you, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, men and women, dogs and cats. I will see you in the next tutorial, but until then, bye-bye.